welcome back. We've launched the channel, so hey, why not kick it out for some gameplay? And clearly, we need to start off with Warzone, the people's champion. Best FPS out right now. I mean, hey, don't kill me for this, but I'm a Warzone fan. I know there are a lot of Battlefield folks, but hey, I'm all Call of Duty. It is my love. So let's look at my settings here. Call of Duty is also like one of the games where you're, the higher settings you go, the better the gameplay that you get. You actually get like smoother gameplay with higher settings. So these are the settings that I have on and a few things I've disabled like, you know, um, I think motion blur would be one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, I just don't like it. So hey, off and anti-alias and off as well. But yeah, running high settings, you tend to get smoother gameplay and that also helps with like a few of the black screens because what happens is your GPU now is running at like higher utilization so let's work on your CPU more work on GPU better off and controller setup again I, I I think like for me like what makes me like a game a lot is so controller support because I, I come from Xbox so coming from consoles and then going to PC my gaming experience is way better if the game just supports like controllers out of the box I, I tend to n shy away from games that don't have decent controller support so Warzone is my thing I accept I've noticed like a few times <clears throat> sorry um, excuse me when I jump into games and my controller is enabled a few times I've probably like gotten into the game and it seems like the input device somehow I don't know if it's based on that patch or whatever got changed and I'm in game and I'm through the menu, I go through the menu with my controller set up, everything working fine, and then it's like I get in game and it's, it says to me like it, it doesn't identify my controller, so it was buggy, that was a little pain, but hey, overall, love the experience. And I mean it's Warzone, so hey. Uh, So yes, loadouts. Um, clearly, like Warzone tends to like nerf weapons, but you have like a, a really good choice here, right? I, I mean, I've been working with the MP5 on this new account. Like I create accounts just for the channel. So this is just my account to gaming channel. I've been trying to ramp it up. I'm only at level 47. And yes, I picked the name Trumpet. And the reason why I did that is because I figure, hey, you need a name that's like, you know, controversial for your gameplay. So when you kill someone, it triggers some type of emotional response in that human where it's like it's either that person is going to be like hey i got killed by you know donald or they're going to be like oh trump killed me and be pissed off but either way it's all good fun so why not uh yeah so yes like my setup here i mean i play around with a lot of the guns i i try to rank i try to i i tend to focus on like fps games when i when i play them, I, I focus on one weapon and I try to rank that weapon up as far as I can take it before like moving on to something else. So I, I pick a weapon I'm comfortable with, rank it all the way up as I can, and then go, you know, figure out, hey, is there something else that's a better variation that I like? And I try things out. So that's kind of how I do it. I switched over to the foul recently because it's like I, I feel like my mp7 was my go-to class but I feel like that kind of got nerfed so switched over to the foul for a bit so I'm trying to rank this foul up on here we'll see how that goes I, I have most of the perks I use like for me it's like double time ghost and amp those are like the free perks I run on everything well on every class and warzone it just kind of just works for me so I, I, I tend to stick to that I'll probably get to like at some point like rank up this account I'll unlock my growl and go from there 
Yeah, but I have like most of the things that I need anyways, like my kill streaks, every kill kill streaks, and everything else is like you know set. So hey, and I don't know like Warzone. I, I spend a decent amount of time playing Warzone. It's it's just good fun. Like overall, it's like you know it's a pretty cool game, right? If I compare this to something like uh, say for example, hey, uh, Apex Legends. Apex Legends is like a pretty good FPS, but like. Uh, it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. You can't dr like dr like interactive vehicles and like Apex Legends. You can't do all of that and all of this stuff you can do in Warzone, right? So Warzone gives you like a really good feel, but one of the problems is like this: hey, you have to sit and wait for matches. Like this, the searches sometimes just kill me. But hey, once you get into a game, it's actually worth it. But yeah. And this is not based off of internet connectivity, it's just servers, like, you know, a lot of servers are bogged down, it is what it is, so just deal with it. Oh well. So, the wait begins. Another thing I looked at with Warzone that's just kind of like a little gripe, I don't like to be that guy who complains, clearly. I mean, I love this game, but the, the updates, the updates are a pain, right? It's like it's, ooh, there's always an update, and the updates are pretty huge. I, I don't have to complain about that because I mean, I have like pretty decent internet, but still, there's like constantly updates for Warzone. It's like, I mean, there should have been an easier way to go about it, right? Like, at least some things should be able to have been updated in the background while you're, let's say, in the menu, that type of stuff. It's, I don't really feel it's that efficient, but hey, it's it's more nitpicking at this point. The game itself is just great. Oh yeah, and that's my little Trumpin Pew Pew, you know, icon there. Let's roll. warm-up time so yeah there's like a, a lot of folks I, I watch like you know online who play warzone like Finn is my favorite you know Facebook gamer who plays this and it's all about like you know getting those kills so on my other account I, 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 I'm, I'm max on my other account but on here it's like trying oh uh, there you go got one kill so I feel pretty good about myself ah uh, yeah it's just in warm-up but hey I'm trying to get the feel of it but warzone is just good fun so there you go Got a few kills in, you know, looking pretty good. Sir, sir, can I speak to your manager, sir? Can I please speak? Do not run from me, sir. Bring your manager out here. Always look at the sky. There's always somebody who's going to land directly where you are, but hey. And whenever I'm in charge, I tend to like pass leadership which I did right there. Oh. And two, one trick is now our squad leader. Let's see where he's going to pick for our jump. Oh crap, he picks hospital. Great job, buddy, great job. And this was where we realized we really fucked up. Oh well, let's get into it. So in Warzone, it's like, even in high settings, I'm normally like pulling like excellent frames. It's like maybe 120, 115. I'm not maxing out my monitor by any means, but hey, it's okay. And yes, folks, I did ignore the chopper. No matter what Arnold says to you, do not get to the chopper. Not in Warzone, that's instant death. Don't do it. 
check the skies, check the skies, make sure nobody's coming down on us because, hey, there's always some sneaky dude when you're on a map with 150 other players. So apparently one of my teammates decided, hey, let's do a recon mission, but everybody else was like, ah, they're not feeling it. So here I go, solo, trying to get a recon in. Meanwhile, my teammates are playing hanky-panky back at Superstore. Shut up and sit down. Yeah, so with Warzone, there's like all of the little side missions, right? You can <clears throat> get all of these side missions. You could take like recon missions like this, where you have to go to a location. You find this little uh, recon device on the floor. You capture it. That's all good. There are bounties, and bounties are good for when you're playing like, uh, you know, not necessarily plunder, but if you're, you know, normally playing like Battle Royale, it's like, hey, you get those, it's like it will show you your enemy players on the map that you have a bounty on. So it, it actually helps. So it's hey, all in the feel of Warzone. It's my game, I love it. It's my go-to. Trust me, I will have sad days I will play this and just fun things that will happen in here will make my day just zen. So my teammate is down, and clearly we're going to try to at least find the attacker. That's why you check left and right, ladies and gentlemen. Always clear both corners. There are always sneaky little guys like this trying to get you. And the goal of plunder is more about, you know, getting those fat stacks, stacking up paper. It's about getting that moolah. So your teammate goes down, one thing you need to do is at least pick up his cash, right? So, yeah. I mean, but hey, you guys probably know Warzone, everybody plays Warzone. And yes, I did leave that play. That was a mistake on my part. But hey, it's Warzone, running and gunning. What do you do? Just play for fun. And yet again, my teammate goes down. And now I need to come in there and put some discipline. Always be sneaky. Never go through the front door. There's Mr. Batman. Ooh, he's dead. There you go. Always be sneaky, otherwise you would be like my teammate over here, laying on the floor, needing a revive. Don't go through the front door. Hey, you know, we learn some things and you know, hey, as we go along, we pick up a few tips and tricks here and there, all in the fun of the hobby. Hey, there you go. Pro tip, don't go through the front door. Another pro tip, be undercover before you check your map, otherwise you get shot like this. And let's see, can my teammate revive me here? Oh, oh beautiful, my teammate got shot as well. But Warzone, you have to love it, right? It's like, it's, it's, the, it's the game you play when you need to, you know, really feel good about yourself on a Saturday, you play some Warzone. Drop in, redeploy, hey. Now, 
prior or contrary to what I said earlier, when you do see a chopper that's heading out with lots of cash, do go to said chopper. Unless in this case your teammate just got shot and this guy on the roof from the opposing team has seen you and this happened. Yeah. Not my best play, but hey, kudos to him. Warzone, oh well. If at first you fail and you don't succeed, try, try, try again. So we're back at it. And there are these green flares, whenever you see these clearly, it's, you know, it means big moolah, mega moolah, lots of money. So hey, had to drop in there, but not my best moment again. I did not open my chute. Yeah, a negative 10,000 IQ gameplay right there. And there comes the loot. So yeah, there's like a lot of different ways you can play Warzone, but if you want it for just the sheer fun, you're not looking to be like, you know, the top Warzone pl player or like, you know, the best pro at sniping in Warzone. If you're not looking to do any of that, you're just looking for the raw fun of it like, you know, I am. I feel this is like the places you want to get to because wherever you see cash like if you're playing plunder that's where all of the players are going to be everybody's going to be trying to shoot everybody so you might as well get there and let your gun off have some fun and keep your fingers crossed that you don't fall to your death and you don't get shot in the process don't run from me don't run not today sir not today not today I feel like every time I get redeployed, I come back in with like, prior to me being redeployed, I come in with like a strategy of what I'm gonna do, but then I get sidetracked. Like I see a vehicle like this and I'm like, okay, I need a 10,000 IQ play here. So how am I gonna play this? My teammate clearly sucking here. I need to redeem us. Okay, there we go. Do not run from me, sir. There you go. You know, not too shabby, not too shabby. Hey, you know, hey, I do have my moments. I'm not the best player, but you know, hey, I can hold my own. Come to me, little teammate, come to me, so I can heal you and sing Kumbaya. And in case you're wondering why I keep looking at my heartbeat sensor, well hey, when you're playing plunder, a lot of folks don't run ghost. And if you don't run ghost, I'm gonna do this to you, okay? So be smart and run ghost, like I do. So you don't just get, you know, pinged out on the map and shot in the back. Why would you do this to me, sir? I am making a video. Do you not see that I'm making a video here? Yeah. Let's try again. Oh, and I am marked because I am a top earner. So hey, gotta get that moolah. Right, and then it's like, again, yet again I get redeployed. I have this strategy in my mind where I'm like, okay, I'm going back to where I got gunned down last, and I'm gonna find this guy, and I'm going to make him or her pay for it. Ooh, then I get here, and I didn't plan to do this. 
depressing, I know. Have you ever had those moments like when you're on camera, that's when it's like everything just goes out of play? Yeah, this was one of those moments. So now, clearly, I'm, you know, a bit excited because, hey, I'm putting out this as my first gameplay video, and ooh, there we have it, some aerial combat. I'm like, you know, feeling like this is a movie. I'm, you know, uh, dead. Five minutes of being James Bond, and I died. There you go. Gotta redeploy again. But that's the thing, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's the fun part of it. When I, when I play and I'm not recording my gameplay, believe me when I tell you, I play a lot better. And you know, I'm not just saying this to make myself feel good. Well, well sort of, maybe, well, maybe a little bit, but hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm always drawn towards action in, in Warzone. Like, I see something explode, that's where I'm gonna try to get to. I see anyone shooting, that's where I'm trying to get to. Oh, a truck, look, it's like, I'm like a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do for one if I caught it, but I'm gonna chase it anyways. Why not? Ooh, new car. Switch focus instantly. There you go. Sad, very sad. Okay, this is probably gonna be my like my last redeployment of overtime here. I need to get a big play. Okay. Oh, and I splattered. I should probably make a video on how you open your parachute in Warzone because clearly I, I seem to not know how to do that. Even though I've like fully ranked my other account and I'm on rank 47 here, but I got some wood. I got, you know, lots of wood. There you go. I got lots of wood. 55,700 to be exact. That is a lot of wood. So, hey. I think I'll go around beating my chest. So, there you have it. Some, you know, initial gameplay to start things off. I mean, Warzone is Warzone, you've gotta love it. And like I'm saying, it's like you have to dial in your settings for Warzone, but try to focus on maybe aiming for higher settings so you get smoother gameplay and none of the, you know, the stuttering and like the black screens that you can get in Warzone because Warzone is very intensive. But if, if you make it, be more GPU heavy versus CPU heavy, you'll be fine. So folks, if you like the content, feel free to hit subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments.